Hello everyone and welcome back to the match on WWE 2K22. This one is Ace Steel and CM Punk up against the Young Bucks. No idea why, you know. Completely random. The four. I don't know where this match has come from. By the way, let's get into it. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't a very good Ace Steel on the community creation. This is the best one we can get a hold of, and it's uh, it's a bit of a mixture. Um, it's a bit older, like his current look, but it's also using his retro uh, classic Ring of Honor attire, which I think is pretty cool. Getting the best of both worlds there, really. Nice attacks there by Nick Jackson. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. Have I accidentally taken control of this? I have, okay. Uh, I was just thinking, my controller's vibrating, I couldn't figure out why. Okay, we're giving uh, CM Punk a little bit of a, a disadvantage here. But I think he'll be fine as he takes control straight away by pushing Matt Jackson away. And now Punk dumping Matt Jackson to the outside. Now this one is, as always in these ECW pay-per-views, no disqualification, no count-outs. Weapons are encouraged. As Ace Steel looking for the pin over Nick Jackson. Ace Steel has been uh, linked with several injuries, including biting uh, Kenny Omega and knocking Nick Jackson out. And also giving Nick Jackson a black eye as well by throwing a steel chair at his face. You know, but uh, this is Nick's opportunity here to get some retribution. CM Punk now just boots into the gut over and over again on Nick Jackson, who's back up on his feet, pushing Punk over. Matt now looking underneath the ring, looking for a little bit of fun. But CM Punk catches him. And the battle now continues on the concrete on the outside. Not the safest place to be. I don't think I fancy being there from the Young Bucks, to be honest with you, over. A Steel now dropping a boot right in the back of the arm. Steel getting sent, uh, well, sending Nick Jackson across, crashing to the ground once again. CM Punk had the steel chair, came at Matt Jackson. Matt saw it coming and just uh, boots Punk in the gut, meaning he drops the chair. No weapons available there for Punk, was there? A Steel breaking up that submission attempt, and now with the chops and the kicks and the elbow in the face of Nick Jackson as Matt now sending CM Punk crashing to the ground. Uh, this will be part of our tag team division as well as our singles division. Of course, Sir A Steel alongside CM Punk was part of the Second City Saints. So, um, yeah, we'll use that as part of our tag team rankings. Why not? And, of course, that also means the Young Bucks will be looking to get themselves some points as well. They've not had the best of times um, with the... Uh, well, with the tag team division in general, have they, really? They're a lot lower down than they ever would want to be. They're not really in that championship picture at this point in time. As Ace still now in with that Salida del Sol. CM Punk catching Matt Jackson and Ace Steel almost getting the pinfall there. Maybe a lot closer than what he would have expected it was going to be. Nick Jackson now with a boot in the gut of Ace Steel. And now takes him up and drops him face first, middle of the ring. Wow, what a poison run. That was by Nick Jackson taking down Ace Steel. This could be an opportunity. Wrenches back at the arm. Nick Jackson now striking the face of Ace Steel. And round the back with a big German suplex. And the longer this match goes, the more the Bucks are taking control. Although Matt Jackson there looked for the moonsault on the outside. CM Punk moved out of the way. And now Punk. In with that backbreaker on the outside. Nick Jackson slamming the face of Ace Steel into that top turnbuckle pad. 
Punk comes in to grab a hold of the steel chair. He's got other ideas for that steel chair by the looks of it. Nick Jackson now with a sledgehammer right into the arm. Looking for one of the guts. Oh, Ace Steel's back up. Lovely running. Hurricanrana taking down Nick Jackson now. In with a pin. CM Punk has Matt Jackson under control on the outside. And oh, it was almost a freak out, you know. Was not expecting that to be as close as it was there, you know, at all. Nick Jackson drops into the pin. And Nick Jackson gets the win. The Young Bucks defeat the team of Ace Steel and CM Punk. And they needed that. They needed a, a little bit of a, uh, a turnaround. It's been a rough bit of time for the Young Bucks in, well, in our universe mode and, of course, in real life as well. Um, so they'll take this. They were on a minus one. This moves them up to a zero. And um, CM Punk, as part of the Second City Saints, is going to drop down to a minus two. Two matches... Two losses now for the Second City Saints. Of course, the team of Ace Steel, CM Punk, and Colt Cabana. Right, we're going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have, hit the like and subscribe on the other good stuff. And I will see you again very soon for our next match of the day. Our final match of the day tonight will be Intercontinental Championship. As AJ Styles takes on Rob Van Dam. Good night. God bless. Auf Wiedersehen. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.